Larry, here at Independent Studio Services, you provide props, you provide firearms, you equipment, set dressings. Please tell me in the movie 12 Strong, you did not provide the horses. No, this is the weapons department here, Patrick. Our horse department supplied the horses for, for the film. You have a horse department? Well, all oh, kidding God. aside, you know, when you're an armorer out on set, you have animals out on right. set, you're interacting with them as well. Sure. They don't like the gunfire. They don't like having cameras all around them and everything. So okay. you do have to learn how to handle different animals on set, okay. even if you're the armorer. Okay. And for 12 Strong, we have Chris Hemsworth's hero guns, um, sniper rifle, M4. M9 pistol, and you mentioned earlier that this is a period piece. I mean, it's enough in the past now that it's not current yeah. events. It, uh, things oddly, were different then. enough, you know, you and I remember when 9-11 happened, but there's an entire generation of people who are 17, 18 years old right, right. now who, who weren't even alive when, when that occurred. And so mm -hmm. uh, it is a period film. You can see it in the equipment, the three-point sling, the, right. the PEC-2, right. the type of surefire, yep. Uh, flashlight, the type of foregrip. Right. These are things that, you know, they're kind of passe now. They're, there's yeah. better equipment, even the ACOG. Um, but to be correct to the time period, right. we have to go back and utilize those older pieces of equipment just to be right. true to, to the film. And people who are used to watching action movies today, they assume, well, you know, you're out in some dusty place. Of course, everything is painted tan. But no, back then, snipers were cool. And part of that coolness was they got to paint their rifles. But everybody else got to use a formal black M4 rifle. And when Chris Hemsworth's rifle runs dry in the movie and he transitions to a pistol, he transitions to an M9 Beretta because that was what was issued to them. Yeah. Remember, I mean, it was a mad scramble actually to get the teams over there. Yes. So who knows where these weapons were actually drawn from? They could have come out of an armory, you know, in West Germany or something like yeah. that. So, yeah. and unfortunately, a lot of people learn their history from watching movies. Oh, and yes. so here at ISS, we, we take that as a great responsibility to make sure that, you know, if we're putting something out there that is actually correct for the time right. period. And you want the correct hero gun for the time and the place of the movie. And that's why we're here at ISS, so that you can learn about what was correct when.